Praise the Lord. Well, a pleasant and wonderful Christmas Eve blessing from our home to your home. And we give God thanks and praise that we are alive. We're in the land of the living. And a Merry Christmas to you. And this is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. As the angel rejoiced over 2,000 years ago when Christ the child was born in a manger. So we rejoice and we give God thanks and praise because he's the almighty, omnipotent God. He's the way maker. He's the miracle working God. And I thank God that Luke 137, Gabriel said, when Mary asked the question, how this is going to happen? And we could ask our question, ourselves the question, our family the question, that we're going through a pandemic and situation. Even in your home, you're going through trials, be it a marriage, be it a, a loss, a loved one. But with God, Luke 1 towards him, you say, with God, all things are possible. So I pray this evening that this hour, this, mes this message that I'll preach on the gifts, on the, on the angel rejoicing in Bethlehem and Judah, that it will be a blessing, it will be comfort, comforted to you. That God is with us and he promised he'll never leave us nor forsake us. And I pray tonight your impossibility will become possible. With God, very important, with God, all things are possible. So let me have a word of prayer as we start up our uh, Christmas Eve service. And wherever you're watching, be it in India, Sri Lanka, Dubai, Trinidad and Tobago, Guyana, in the United States of America, wherever this is, is transmitted, a very Merry Christmas to you. And remember, it is all about Jesus. It's all about God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, the whosoever, and the whosoever is you, whosoever believe in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And that's when Jesus came into this world to save mankind, to save us all from Satan's power, when we are gone astray. And we can give him all the thanks and all the praise in Jesus' name. So Father, we come in agreement this evening and we give you praise for the anointing. We sprinkle the blood, nothing but the blood of a Trinity Gospel ministry. We sprinkle the blood over each and everyone that is gathered here. We sprinkle the blood for, on those who are watching. And we pray this Christmas Eve, Lord, that you are their Jehovah Jireh. You will provide. You will give them the greatest gift of salvation and father we give you praise for the anointing and holy spirit we welcome you we welcome the power of the most high to overshadow them tonight father that they'll know the true meaning of christmas the love of god the father to give his only begotten son to oh god to be wrapped in swaddling clothes and lay in the manger that jesus became poor that we might be rich as second corinthians 8 9 says father so we thank you for this christmas eve we thank you for christmas day that we could rejoice oh god on, on the little things that we will get father but we thank you for the greatest miracle of salvation and Father, we give you all the praise and all the glory. And right now, I take authority for those who are watching that they're sick in body. Heal them, Lord. Heal them from the top of their heads to the sole of their feet. Grant them that miracle, that miracle of salvation, that miracle of restoration, that miracle of renewing and refreshing. So I pray a blessed, merry Christmas as they cook, as they bake, as they rejoice, as they give you thanks. And I bless their cupboards, I bless the food that they will partake, that every good and perfect thing come from God the Father. And we thank you, and we give you all the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. Praise God. God is good. And all the time, God is great. Amen. At this time, Denise is going to lead us in worship, and I'll be back. Joy to the world, the Lord has come. Let earth receive our King. Let every heart prepare room, and heaven nature sing. Joy 
high will overshadow her and she will have conception amen God reveal it in Luke 1 35 the angel answered and said unto her the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee therefore all also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God and then the angel revealed, Behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she shall also conceive a son in her old age. For this is the sixth month, sixth month 
with her who is called Barat. For with God, nothing is impossible. Yes, Mary, this handmaiden of God knew because God revealed it to her by his angel Gabriel. And this is Christmas time, it's Christmas Eve in Toronto. And we thank God in the midst of a pandemic that we could broadcast the good news, the birth of our Redeemer, our Savior, our Messiah, Amen. our great high priest. The angels rejoice in heaven. The gift of God's only Son has visited this earth, born in the manger. And tonight, God has a gift for you. He has a gift of His Son, Jesus Christ. Yes, there's many Christmas trees laden with gifts under that tree. But the most important gift is the gift of salvation. Amen. And we give God thanks and praise that by true faith and grace, we are safe. Safe from every pandemic, safe from any sickness and disease. And tonight I want to share that Christmas story to you. And Jesus is the reason for tonight. Amen. Amen. Jesus was foretell in the book of Isaiah. Unto us a child is born. A son is given. His name will be called Emmanuel. God with us. Isaiah 7, 14. It was foretell by the prophet Jeremiah. It was foretell by the prophets of the old, Malachi. That there will be a redeemer, a priest, a high priest that will save mankind from his sin. But the most important was in Luke Gospel chapter 2. And if you have your Bibles tonight, it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And this taxation was first made when Cyrenius was governor of Syria. And all went to be taxed, everyone into the, his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judea, unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem, because he was of the house of the lineage of David, to be taxed with Mary, his ex-spouse wife, being great with child. And so it was that while they were there, the days were accomplished, and she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped in a swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over the flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them. And they were so afraid, and the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto us is born this day in the city of David a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign unto you. You shall find the baby wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God and saying glory to God in the highest. And Lord, peace, goodwill towards men. And it came to pass, as the angels were gone away from them into heaven, the shepherds said one to another, Let us now go, even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord hath made known unto us. And they came with haste, and found Mary and Joseph, and the baby lying in a manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the saying which was told to them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told them by the shepherds. But Mary kept all these things and pondered them in her heart. And the shepherd returned glorifying and praising God for all the things that they had heard and seen as it was told unto them. Praise God. Father, we thank you for the Christmas story. We thank you for the birth of Jesus Christ. We thank you, God, that there's power in your word. 
We thank you for the angels rejoicing. We thank you for this moment in time in the name of Jesus. And Father, we pray your blessing upon your word. We pray the power of the Most High will overshadow us this Christmas Eve. And we pray the anointing will be so rich and thick. Thank you for the gifts. Thank you for the gifts of Christ Jesus, our Lord and our Savior. And Father, we give you praise. Because it's not by might nor by power, but by your spirit. Bless all those who are watching and all those who are here. We give you thanks and we give you praise in Jesus' name. It's a wonderful time. Amen. But what was foretold unto the prophet Isaiah? It came to pass in those days. A decree. Praise God. A decree. A decree are very important. We could declare and decree a thing and it shall come to pass with the anointing and God power in the name of Jesus. We could declare and decree blessing because God has given us the power and the authority in Jesus name as born again, spirit filled believer with the unction of the spirit of God upon our life. So here Caesar Augustus make a decree. And I declare the world should be taxed. And today the world is in a pandemic. In those days was taxation. And today they're declaring uh, vaccination because of COVID. And they all have to assemble and go back to the various cities and towns and village. So Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth into Judah unto the city of David, which is called Bethlehem. Because he was of the house of the lineage of David. And he, he to be taxed with Mary, his spouse to be. And they were with child. And, and so it was that while they were there, these were accomplished, that she should be delivered. God is a God of timing. And I'm here to tell you, God knows the delivery time. And he knows how to deliver a miracle to you this Christmas Eve. He knows how to give you the best gift. Amen. And the best gift tonight is the gift of salvation. Amen. It's the gift to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. And God is a God of timing. That he did not allow Jesus Christ to be born in Nazareth. But he allowed him to be born in the city of David. And David was a righteous king. Praise God. David, it was prophesied that he'll have the scepter of David. In Isaiah, he said the government will be upon his shoulder. He'll call the prince of peace, the counselor, the everlasting father. It was prophesied. And here in Bethlehem of Judah, there was no room in the inn. There was a lot of people in the city of Bethlehem. And when I think about it, how God the Father, he could have granted Mary and Joseph favor, but God allowed things to happen. God allowed that his son, in 2 Corinthians 8, 9, that he became poor, that we could be rich through his poverty. Think about that. 2 Corinthians 8, 9. Through Jesus' poverty, that we could be rich, rich in faith, rich in love, rich in our prayer, rich in the word, rich in compassion. Riches doesn't mean material things or money. Rich in divine health and strength. Praise God. And Joseph, they went to get tax. But she was close to her delivery and they found a manger. And what's in the manger? Hey, animals, sheep, oxen, donkey. But they found room. This king, this son of righteousness, this prince of peace, this I am that I am, this Messiah that will leave heaven, his glory. He knows about all the riches. But he came to earth. Why? To save mankind from their sinful ways. To bring salvation. The greatest miracle. And there at the 
and there was no midwife. Think about it. I have four beautiful daughters, God bless them, Camille, Ashley, and Alicia, and Christine. And I was there for the last one. And I see all the doctors, <coughs> all the nurses, hooked up my wife. But here, Mary was with Joseph and animals. As the angel said in Luke 137, with God, all things are possible. With a whole Lord of hosts, angel watching on the birth of the son of righteousness, the birth of Emmanuel, come on, God with us. God said his name will be called Emmanuel, God with us. And she brought forth her son, Luke 2 and 7. Her firstborn son wrapped him with swaddling clothes and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Praise God. Amen. I was born in my grandparents' home, but we had a midwife. But here Jesus was born in a manger. Can you picture that scene? A manger with animals. Smelly situation. But God is in control. Amen? So when you think about your trouble and your situation upon the face of the earth, think how God brought forth his only begotten son. That Mary, her firstborn, was born in a manger among the hay, wrapped in swaddling clothes. There was no room for them in the inn. Think about it. I travel different places in this world and I stay in beautiful hotel with nice bathroom and beds and breakfast. But here they were in a manger. And baby Jesus was in that manger. And they were in the same country, shepherds abiding fields, keeping watch over the flock by night. Shepherds. Shepherds are the lowest people. And they were guarding their flocks by night. But God could bring forth a message to shepherd. I'm here to tell you this evening, God could bring forth a message of hope. Whatever situation you are going through, God could move in that situation. Amen. Whatever sickness or whatever financial difficulty, Jesus can move in your home, in your life. Because God is in control. And a prayer of faith can bring you healing, miracles, salvation. Mary knew, and God helped Mary to overcome her, her pain of travailing. And you might be travailing right now in prayer for a prodigal son or a daughter or family. You might be lonely in your home, but thank God that he's promised that he'll never leave you nor forsake you. And Christmas time, there are many that is shut in. Many is in nursing home. Many cannot visit their family. Many cannot travel from one place to the next place. We are in a shutdown. But thank God for Jesus. Amen? Amen. That when you read your Bible, he could show up through the, the brick walls. And when Jesus showed up, he said, peace be unto you. So I declare peace in your home. I declare Prosperity in your home. I declare the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Amen? Amen? But this gift came and was wrapped. Hallelujah. It was wrapped in swaddling clothes. This gift that was prophesied by the prophet Isaiah. Hallelujah. This gift that came to save, save mankind from this sin. We have a tree to my left. And there's gift under that tree. And if I should give you that gift. You say, thank you, Pastor Kamal, for that gift. But if you don't open the gifts, it could be a shirt. And if you don't try it on, or whatever gift, or you don't say thank you. That's why God has gift for us this Christmas. As 1 Corinthians 12 says, we have gifts of healing, working of miracle, faith, tongues, and interpretation, discerning of the Spirit, gifts of healing, gifts of prophecy. Gifts. God give us gift. His only begotten son. Born in the manger. And God reveal it to shepherd. To the lowest of people. 
And those shepherds heard the message. Praise God. It was not a big television screen like CNN or ABC. They were in the same country, shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flocks by night. And lo, the angel of the Lord came upon them. I think Gabriel was so excited that what he prophesied and declared and decree over Mary and the glory of the Lord shone around them and they were so afraid. Brilliant lights. Amen. Angels speaking. And the shepherds were amazed. Are you watching? Are you waiting? Are you seeking for the Messiah? These angels were minding their business, taking care of their flocks. And that's why Jesus came to be our shepherd. He came to be our great shepherd. And look where he was born, in a manger, where shepherds will take place of their animals, their sheep. And we are the sheep of his pasture. And he became the great shepherd. The Lord's my shepherd. I shall not want. He makes me to lie down where? In green pastures. Besides still waters. And these shepherds were in their pastures. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy. Hallelujah. I bring you what? Good tidings of great joy. Hallelujah. I got a grandson. When he get a gift, he's happy. Good tidings of great joy. Just imagine this angel came with a message. And we all must have a message. Amen. A message in our, heart, in our heart like the angels. Fear not for behold I bring you good tidings of great joys. Hallelujah. I bring you good tidings. And today they probably look for a gift. And they want a the best gift. And maybe an Apple phone and whatever. But if God give you a small gift. It's with the love and compassion. That I'm thinking about you to write your name on a card or give you a little gift because I love you. And I'm praying for you. Praise God. And that's the compassion of God the Father. To send his angel. And his angel came with a message. Good tidings. Good tidings. Hallelujah. Of great joy which shall be to all people. For unto us. Here's the message. For unto you is born this day in the city of David, a Savior, which is Christ the Lord. What a message. Praise God. Hallelujah. Are you looking for salvation? Are you looking for the Christ child in a manger? When kings are born, they are born in palaces with beautiful floor and beautiful crib. But this Messiah, this Redeemer, this great high priest, the Son of God, this Christ was born in a manger. And the angels was rejoicing. Praise God. Hallelujah. The Lord of hosts. And the angel said, this shall be a sign unto you. Today we are looking for a sign. And the sign that the Messiah will come back. The sign that the King of Glory will come. What sign are you looking for? The sign, this is the sign unto you. You shall find a babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Go look. The angel deliver message. How are you going to find, know this Christ child? How are you going to know him? You see, God is a God of detail. And he knows every situation that you are going through. He knows every details. He knows every tears that you shed. He knows the Holy Spirit of God knows everything. And right now as I'm speaking, I can sense the presence and the power of the Most High. And God wants to bless you. He wants to take care of your poverty mentality. To give your mentality of Christ is your King. Christ is your High Priest. Christ is your Healer. Christ is your Messiah. Christ is your Jehovah. Christ is the one you're looking for. Christ is the one to take all your troubles, all your fears. Christ is the one that became poor that you might be rich. Christ! Amen, amen. Hallelujah! Here's a sign that he will be wrapped in swaddling clothes, giving praise. Lying in a manger, a king born. And lying in a manger, wrapped in swaddling clothes. On hay, with among cattles. 
just like Noah. When Noah was in the ark was animals and birds. Then here Jesus in a manger. And suddenly, I pray, suddenly. Hallelujah, I love the suddenlies. That you've been praying and asking God for in your prayer requests for things. But I pray that tonight will be your suddenly. That suddenly you will give your heart to the Lord. Suddenly you will receive that good news. Suddenly that you could glorify God and thank God. And you could say, look what the Lord has done. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude. Multitude of heavenly hosts. Multitude. Billions. Revelation said 10,000 times. 10,000. Whoa, what a sight. What a song in heaven. Praise God. I should have been there. But God allowed me to be here tonight. Glory to the Father. Amen. Hallelujah. God allow us to live on earth that we could share the good news. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of heavenly hosts praising God. Hallelujah. And it's good to praise God. No matter what trials and tribulation, start to praise God. When you start to praise God, your whole continents will be different. Amen. I know what it's like to robe in this flesh that we go through trials and testing and we could get upset and angry that we don't see things our way. But let's see things God's way. Because He is the way. He is the truth. And He is life. Praise Him. Amen. Heavenly hosts praising God. And what they're saying, they come with a message. And this Christmas, let's have a message of thanksgiving. Let's have a message of hope. Let us have a message of faith. Let us have a message of telling others that Jesus is the reason for this season. And let Christ be glorified in everything. And give God thanks in whatever presence or whatever little is given to you. I love Christmas. Born in British Guyana, I love Christmas. Growing up as a Hindu child, Christmas was like cutting down a tree in school and blowing some balloons and hanging on the tree and get some newspaper. Yes, newspaper and wrap a gift. Wrap a gift, any kind of gift. We don't know what toys were all about. But toys were those for, for those rich people in Georgetown uh, that goes to the store called Fogarty and Booker's, the British store. But we know how to rejoice and give God thanks. Though we are Hindus. And then early Christmas morning, when the Christians will come in our neighborhood and sing in, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, it was a different song. We will get up like five in the morning and they have their little gas lamp with light and they have their tambourine and praising God. You think these people were crazy, but it was different. Yes. The anointing was upon them and they had joy, unspeakable and full of glory. And they were rejoicing, praising God. Though they have little to live on, but they were praising God. Glory to God in their hearts. And they were singing Christmas carol. And the whole village will be up. And Christmas is beautiful. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God that everybody in our street, they will have their lights, paint their fence, and they will be happy. It's a happy time for season. And for us, toys. Food. Sponge cake. Case of Coke, drinks. It's a time that everybody is happy. Yes, being a Hindu, and I enjoy that. That my grandfather and my, my father and their brothers, a time of family unity, and they'll go from house to house, eating, drinking, and being happy and joy. But they did not know the reason for the season. They were Hindus, but they were celebrating the Messiah birthday, not knowing. It's a joyous time. And the angel in verse 14 says, Glory to God in the highest. And all peace. Goodwill towards men. Glory to God in the highest. Everybody, you could say, Glory to God in the highest. And what the earth need? The earth peace towards every man. And it came to pass as the angel were gone away from into the heavens. The shepherd said, one to another, let us now go, even unto Bethlehem, and see this thing which is come to pass, which the Lord had made 
known unto us. Praise God. The Lord has made known unto them the good news. A Savior is born, a Redeemer, a Messiah. And they came with haste and found Mary and Joseph and the babe lying in the manger. And when they had seen it, they made known abroad the thing which was told them concerning this child. And all they that heard it wondered at those things which were told by the shepherd. They, God was rejoicing. Amen. Mankind. God has visited them. Robe in flesh. God has sent his begotten son to redeem mankind from their ways. To bring salvation. And Mary heard all that the shepherd said. And pondered them in her heart. But the shepherd returned glorifying and praising God. Amen. When the holy God of Israel and the angel and the presence and the power of God, these shepherds were changed. They had a good news. They saw the Messiah. They saw Jesus. And when you come into the presence of God, the Father and the angels and Jesus, you will never be the same. Amen. I pray this Christmas that this Christmas, because of situation, that it will be a blessed Christmas. I declare it. I decree it over your life. The shepherd returned. And what they did? Glorifying and praising God. They see the Christ child. They believe. They heard the voice of angels. All the things that were they heard and seen, it was told on to them. These angels, these shepherds, hallelujah, they will never be the same again. In the Bible, it never tells us what happened to these shepherds, but I believe these shepherds, they were changed. So wonderful to hear the voice of angel and to see angel and to hear the song of heaven praising God and glorifying the God. They went and witnessed and they seen with their eyes and then they were transformed. Come on, praise God. They were transformed to see where this Messiah was born in one of their mangers. The shepherd knows about the hay and the sheep. And the shepherd, they returned back to the field. And they had a new sound. They had a new sound. You see, when you get into the presence of God Almighty, you're changed from glory to glory. Amen. You go to a new level. So I pray this Christmas, it will be a meaningful Christmas. That the joy of the Lord will be your strength. Like the, like the shepherd, they see they return, glorifying and praising God for all things that they had heard and seen. What the scripture said, heard and witness it. Praise God. They went and they see, they didn't have no gifts. But there in the rest of the story, the three wise men came and they followed the Bethlehem star. And they came with their gifts, frankincense and myrrh. And gold. And they came and they saw the Christ child. In other words, the Bethlehem star lead them. And if you really need to know Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Tonight I could lead you. This day I can lead you to the Messiah. This great high priest. This redeemer of men's soul. These shepherds were changed in a moment of time. These shepherds went under the unction and direction of the angels. And they came to that manger. They returned. I'm just stuck here. Glorifying. I wonder how they glorify God. Shepherds. And praising God for all things that they had heard and seen. As it was told unto them. But you must believe in your heart. Believe with all your soul. With all your mind. With all your strength. Somebody asked me, how did I, did I became a Christian? I say, I heard a voice. I say, follow Jesus. I heard a voice. 
said, follow Jesus. And today I follow him. I obey that voice. And I give my heart and my soul to Jesus, Christ Jesus. Yes, I'm the first one from my family. Yes, the same family. To give my heart and my soul and my body to Christ. To make a difference. Praise God. And that's God's God. Praise God. That's God Almighty. That God is sovereign. God is awesome. And today, glory to God. I can say glory to God in the highest. Peace on earth. Goodwill to all mankind. The angels sing that song. And we're going to sing it for you. Heart the herald. Angels sing. Glory to God in the highest. And on earth, peace. Goodwill towards men. And earth needs peace. Earth needs Jesus. Hallelujah. The sons of God need to arise in prayer in this moment of time. And when men pray, God moves. When you pray, there will be no lack in your home. When you get a visitation from the Lord, be Gabriel or angels, you'll never be the same again. Amen. And God wants you to be a messenger this Christmas, to share your love, to share your compassion, to share your gifts. We all have a gift, but we have to open up that gift and say, God, my body is your temple. My body is your gift. Come and baptize me as you overshadow Mary. And the power of the Most High came upon her. Holy Spirit, come and overshadow me and baptize me and fill me and give me the nine gifts. Yes, there is nine gifts. 1 Corinthians 12. And you could covet the best gift for the body of Christ. Gifts of healing, words of knowledge, words of wisdom. Praise God. Amen. And God has gift for us. Not only natural gift, but he has supernatural gifts. And thank God for Jesus, the greatest gift. A gift of salvation. A gift of miracle. So Father, I thank you for all those who are watching. I give you praise for them, Lord. I praise you. I bless them in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you. Give them tonight, this day, this Christmas Eve, this Christmas Day. Give them a blessing of salvation. If you will pray with me, I want to lead you to the greatest gift of salvation. And it's free. By grace through faith, you are safe. The gift. Praise God. Hallelujah. Repeat after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I believe you came from heaven. Born of a virgin Mary. You died on the cross, and you shed all your blood for all my sins. And Lord Jesus, wash me with your precious blood. And come into my heart, and be my Lord, and be my Savior. With my heart, I believe Jesus Christ is my Lord. And with my mouth, I confess him as my great high priest. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul and writing my name. In the Lamb's Book of Life. And that's the greatest, if you pray that prayer, that's the greatest gift of salvation from Almighty God. That your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life. That your name, just as you written my name, in that Book of Life. Praise God. Glory to God in the house. And that's the greatest gift. A miracle of salvation. God bless you. As we sing, Hark the Herald, we shall sing. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hark the Herald, angels sing glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy, my God and sinners reconciled. 
Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the skies With angelic hosts proclaim Christ is born in Bethlehem Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn King Praise God! Amen! Glory to the newborn King Praise God! You can visit us at trinitygospel.ca And uh, we thank God for your support Your donation God bless you and uh, this Saturday, we don't have no service, but this Sunday, we'll have service at 9.30 a.m. and 11 a.m. So I wish you a Merry Christmas and a blessed New Year. As we sing Silent Night, it was a holy night. Amen? That Jesus was born. Thank you, each and everyone that is gathered here. And Lord, we pray a Christmas blessing upon them. We praise you for the anointing. We praise you, Lord. We pray for Rajiv. Touch Rajiv. Bless him. Anoint him. Touch, touch his mother, Christine. Touch his sisters, nephew, nieces, brother in law. Father, we pray for this family. Put a hedge and a thorn of protection around them. Father, we thank you. Bless Rajiv. Give him a good Christmas. Let the Holy Ghost empower him. Thank you for his divine health and strength. I pray for Anita. I pray for our family. I pray for Sylvie and Sandra and Shirley. I pray for our nephew in Guyana. Brother, I pray for miracles. 
for this family. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Thank you for the silent night and this holy night. I pray for Hannah, Christine, Camille, Ashley, Alicia, Dinesh, Matthew, Francis, my entire family. Cover them with your blood. Oh God, bless them this Christmas. And Lord, use them like never before. I declare and decree. Bless Trinity Gospel Ministry. And Father, thank you. We give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.